Good morning, guys. Now today we are going ahead in chapter number eleven, perimeter and area. In last session, in last session, I taught about few formulas: square, rectangle, and its perimeter. How can we find perimeter and area of square and rectangle? In this lecture. I will talk, teach you about this uh, triangle and diagonal. Suppose triangle say given and we want to find its perimeter and area. How can we find that area and perimeter? So let's start here. So first of all, we will take our say this triangle. This triangle. So students, we know a triangle has three sides and three angles. So let's see from here one figure. This triangle. This triangle. Three sides. One, two, three. Three sides and three angles. C, A, B, C. We can denote this triangle. Like this triangle A B C, we can denote a triangle triangle A B C. This is the sign of triangle triangle A B C. And triangle has three sides. How many sides it has? It has three sides: segment A B, segment B C, and segment C. Segment A B, segment B C, and segment C. It has three angles. How many angles? It has three angles: angle A, angle B, and angle C. It has three angles. Clear that? So this figure we call a triangle, and in this triangle it has three sides: segment A, B, segment C, and segment C. And it has three angles: angle B, angle C, A, and angle C. Now, students, if we want to find its parallel. Students already you know what is the formula to find perimeter, what meaning of perimeter. Perimeter means sum of all the sides, sum of all the borders in the closed figure. That means it is perimeter. So here, if we want to find perimeter, so we can write perimeter of a triangle means perimeter of a triangle. Sum of all sides. Sum of all three sides. Sum of all three sides means here. According to this figure, we can write perimeter of triangle ABC. Perimeter of triangle ABC means sum of all these sides. A B plus. A B plus B C plus C. Clear? So this formula we can apply to find perimeter of triangle A B C. In this perimeter, perimeter of triangle A B C equal to A B plus A B plus B C plus A C. That means we find its perimeter. Suppose let me take here this three, this four, and this six. So what is the perimeter of this triangle? So simple, simple. We have to put all the values here in place of A. A B value is equal to three. B C value is four, and A C value is six. So sum of all is six plus four ten. Ten plus six thirteen seventeen. So perimeter of this triangle equal thirteen centimeter. But we know now perimeter of the triangle. But how can we find its area? That is also very important for triangle. So in triangle means area. Area means inside all spaces. This inside this space we want to find its area. So in triangle we require if we want to find its area, that time we require its angle. Angle means standing line, straight line. That we require. That means altitude we require. If we have altitude measurement at 
base measurement then we can find its area is in let's take this bc we take this as base according to corresponding this base we have to do here one and this and means right angle let's take this f so we can take this base as base this base and this height otherwise the height will be both we can see so this base bc is base and a and b is the altitude of corresponding this base but if we want to take this base that that time we have to do altitude on corresponding line segment ac so whenever we want to draw altitude that time we have to take its corresponding line segment as a base see here so we do clear this base so this altitude so we draw here one altitude on this base because this is the corresponding line segment of this altitude is it clear beta yes so this base and this angle now we see we can find its area so here is set up another one formula to find the area area of the triangle equal area of triangle is one half what one half one half base one half base into angle otherwise height both are same so what formula area of a triangle equal to one half base into angle also we can write here one by two base multiplied by base multiplied okay so suppose this base measurement given four centimeter and angle to be given uh three let's we take this five This fire and it will be fire base given four find its area. So simple here we require only two things. One is base and second is altitude. If we have this both value, then we can find its area easily. So let's we use that formula. Area of triangle is equal to so area of triangle. Base into height is one half. Base into here is and height. Height is our A M. Here is this base and height. Now we put all the values in one by two. Base value is four and height value is five. Height A M five. Two to the four five to the And square. Yes, this will keep in mind. We have to write here square because area remain is square. Square centimeter square square meter square. This all we have to mention this is that this answers answer. Okay. Otherwise your answer will be the wrong. So we always mention this unit here. This centimeter here. So we have to write here centimeter square meter here and meter square. This thing we have to try. So here in this topic, I got two formulas. First, area of perimeter equal to sum of all three sides. Means triangle ABC perimeter equal to AB plus BC plus AC. And if we want to find this type of triangle's area, then simple we have to use formula one half area of triangle ABC equal to one half. Base into altitude. This formula we have to apply. Now let's take here, here another one example of triangle area. So here, see this triangle, this triangle. Okay, A B C. In this triangle, this measure, this base. Let's we take this as. Base. Base measurement given eight centimeter and fixed altitude corresponding on this side. Altitude means right triangle. This. This altitude measurement given five. 
find its way. So simple. We have formula here. Both values given. Base value given and attribute value given. Both values given. So we can find its area easy. See. So area. Area triangle ABC equal to one half base into height. One half over base. Base is AC and height is BM. Height is BM. See this base AC and BM is added. One half AC. AC value is A and BM value is five. Two for the eight five for the twenty centimeters. Now we understand how that we find its area. Very sometimes beta, sometimes it is trying to be. This trying to be. P Q R. In this trying, in this trying, suppose maybe any two measure may be. Let's see it is added. Attitude measurement given 9. Attitude measurement given, but base measurement not given. A corresponding base measurement not given. And area is triangle area is. Suppose triangle area is. Triangle Q R area is. Area zero and altitude measurement height height pm equal to nine meter find its base find its base measure see this triangle with you are in this triangle with you are this you are is base and pm is altitude on corresponding base Q R. This Q R measurement not given. Attitude measurement given is nine, and also its area given. Area measurement given. So simple that base we have to find here. So area in solution area equal to seven meter meter square given. Yes, and attitude P M. P M measurement is nine meter. But base measurement Q R not given. That we have to find. So let's see in this formula. Area of triangle. Area of triangle Q R equal to one half. One half base Q R into attitude P M. Area of triangle Q R equal to one half Q R into P M. Yes, triangle Q R measurement given. Yes, area of triangle. Equal to one by two, and Q R Q R measurement not given that we have to find. So as it is, and P M measurement is nine. Here now see this two is going upper side, nine is going down side because when we are doing transform one place to another place of the value, that time we have to change that side and place also. Plus will become minus, and minus will become plus. Multiplication is going in downside. This formula we have to find. See, two is the denominator, so it will go in upside. See, numerator. And nine is the numerator, so it is going in denominator. Q R. Nine is the square root. Eight to the sixteen. Q R equal to sixteen centimeter. Let me repeat that question. So base measurement. Here we can observe base measurement. We got Q R equal to sixteen. So this type of sums we can find and find its area, altitude, base. This also. Sometimes in some cases you can observe here. See this base measurement given, this base measurement given, and altitude measurement not given, and area also given. That so same same concept, same method, same calculation we have to apply there. Okay, if you like that area.
formula is very important to find its area. Now our new topic, our new topic is parabola. So students, first we I will show how can we draw a parabola coordinate and how it look like. See this parabola coordinate. Is it clear? So this way we can find its 
answer for the area of a quadrilateral parallelogram quadrilateral.